All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend Tarot. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be a general love reading. So I'm actually doing two uh, love readings today. Keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate. Take it if it does, leave it if it doesn't. That's also why I'm doing two different readings. So I don't know if they're going to relate to each other or not. We'll see what comes through. If you guys want to book something personal, I do have 15% off and I'll leave the promo code down below. Okay, so what is going on with you and this person at this time? Oh no, this is literally what was coming through in the last reading. There was so much indecision. Okay, let's see. So we got the two of wands that wanted to fall out in reverse. What is going on with you and this person? We've got the six of wands. And we've got the eight of wands in reverse. This is already kind of looking like the other reading. Okay. Um... Someone has not reached out to the other person. There's a blockage in communication, and I feel like whoever has not reached out is contemplating whether or not to reach out. Um, and I think that the problem here is that ego is getting in the way. So I think that what's causing stagnation or indecision for whoever needs to communicate could be you or them. It's more of like a pride thing. It's more like, do I want to put my ego to the side and communicate with this person? What is their energy towards you right now? What is this person's energy towards you right now? The fool in reverse. I feel like this person is struggling to trust you. Okay? This person is struggling to trust you. The hang Yeah, they're not the page of cups. The hangman and the page of cups in reverse. Why are they struggling to trust you? Why is this person struggling to trust you? The page of wands in reverse. That's why they're not talking to you guys. This is what I mean. I think that... Okay, let's put it this way. If this is if you're waiting for this person to say something to you or communicate with you in some way and they haven't been, they have been on the fence about it and they're almost getting letting their pride be the reason why. But I think it's because they don't feel like they can trust you. Like this person might have shut off communication because they're worried that they can't Some of them may actually be hoping that you're going to apologize to them for something. Page of Cups in reverse. The Two of Cups. Clarifying the Page of Cups in reverse. I feel like ultimately this person actually does miss you. There's some sort of sadness coming through here in this desire to come together, but they are going to need... This is their perspective, so you guys may not agree with this, so this is what I'm feeling from them. I feel like this person is almost feeling like they need more from you. Maybe an apology. I don't know what you would need to apologize. What is? What are they wanting an apology for? Did you walk away from this person? Eight of Cups. They may. They may want an apology because you walked away. Okay. What is your energy towards this person? What is your energy towards this person? Oh yeah. Okay. So you guys are in this sort of harsh energy. Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay. Um, Queen of Swords in reverse. What are, what are you guys bitter about? <laughs> I'm just trying to understand what is going on. What is this about? Queen of Swords in reverse. The five. Yeah, there's some sort of... Okay, there is an internalized anger going on within you guys. You may be... You know what I feel like this is? You know what this feels like? Five of Wands Reverse feels like you guys had some sort of anger building towards this person. I feel like you had some sort of anger building towards this person. It's almost like you didn't say it. Like, you know when you get upset about something, but you don't say it, and then something else happens, and you don't say it, and it builds and builds and builds and builds and builds, and then all of a sudden, it comes out in this, like, really harsh way. That's what I'm feeling here. So I don't know if you cut this person out. I don't know if you said something, but you're in this very harsh energy towards this person because I think there was an anger that was building and building and building. So where are you guys at now? Let's see. The Wheel of Fortune. So this is not moving forward, I see. The situation is not moving forward. Okay. What are your person's intentions with you? What are your person's intentions with you? What are your person's intentions with you? The Tower in Reverse. They're like not really wanting to budge here. This person is not wanting to change. They're not wanting to change. Yeah, so I feel like this kind of feels a little bit like the other reading that I did today, but 
I don't know if it's gonna, it's not exactly the same, but a little, some similarities. Um, this person, their intentions are to, they don't wanna change for whatever reason. They may be feeling like they're justified in their energy. You may be feeling like you're justified in your energy here. This to me kind of feels like a misunderstanding possibly or two people who have failed to communicate properly with each other. See, they do miss you, though. That's what I was saying. I do feel like this person does miss you, but they don't want to budge. That's what's creating this barrier. They feel like there's a block here between the two of you, but they do. This is the thing. This person doesn't want to let go of their ego. So if their ego is causing them to hold back from you or withdraw, they're not budging. Like, this person's not budging. And they know that by doing that, they're creating this barrier, this wall between the two of you, but they're just choosing to not budge on it. So they're just kind of over here, like, by themselves with the hermit, missing you, but sort of hoping that you're going to apologize so that the two of you can come back together here. But I'm seeing you over here, like, still upset about something. What are your intentions here with this person? What are your intentions? Okay, so you guys are in, you guys are going to express yourself. We have the Knight of Cups, um, which is a card of expressing emotion. So I think that eventually, if this person doesn't budge, which I don't think that they are, you guys are going to approach this person. Yeah, I think you guys have a really, I think you guys may find this person a little bit hard to like leave. Like you may have a hard time um, avoiding this person or moving on from them. I feel like you guys are very attracted to this person, very drawn to this person. We've got the Knight of Cups moving towards the, the Queen of Wands here. So there's a draw to this person. There's like a strong attraction that's going to make it hard for you to resist them, I feel. So even though there's some anger about the past, and even though maybe you did walk away, right? Because we have the Eight of Cups. I feel like ultimately you're going to express yourself to this person, which is what they want. Like this is what they're hoping for because ultimately they want to be with you, but they just don't want to budge on something here. I don't know who's wrong or who's, I have no idea. But I think at the end of the day, someone has to kind of step in here in order to salvage the connection. And if anything, it may be you. It seems like you're going to be the one to do it. Some of you guys may be saying no, but I feel like that's what it's telling me here. Okay, someone in this connection is feeling like they're not accepted. Like, um, they may feel, someone may feel like they're not accepted for who they are. That could be a concern. What is the most likely outcome here between these two? What is the most likely outcome here? The Ace of Swords in reverse. Clarify. The Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Okay, Ace of Swords in reverse is the outcome, which is withholding the truth. Four of Pentacles, withholding. Knight of Wands, action. So what I see is that there will be action, but there's this withholding of like, what is the actual problem here? I'm almost getting like an avoidance energy. I feel like someone will take action towards the other, but it's like you guys are gonna be avoiding the elephant in the room, if that makes sense. What is this person's message for you? What is this person's message for you? No one makes me feel the way that you do. I never expected to feel this way about you. I can't get you out of my head. And we have, I can feel you pulling away, have you moved on? Yeah, this person, okay, you threw this person off guard. They weren't expecting to have these feelings for you. They cannot get you out of their head. That's why we have this nostalgia card here as well. I feel like this is someone who um, is really missing you and feeling like they can't stop thinking about you. Um, but they don't want to budge. And so they're sort of over here kind of afraid that you're going to move on, but not necessarily letting that stop them and that's why they know that there there is a barrier here because it's like they want to maintain their stance on something but they also don't want you to move on if that makes sense but i think ultimately you guys are going to be the ones who come forward towards this person 
Okay, they've never felt this way about someone here. What is the advice? What is your advice? What is your advice? We have the card of abundance, fortune, wealthy, or sorry, fortune, wealth, and plenty. Okay? Um, so I feel like with this card being the advice in regards to this connection, well, for some of you guys, you could be coming into a lot of abundance soon. This could be a side message. But I think that this is more talking about the, the mindset that you have towards things. And I feel like when it comes to maybe this connection or when it comes to relationships, I feel like you guys are being called to focus on what you do have, like being focused on having an abundance mindset versus a lack mindset because that's going to affect how you see things and how you show up in your connections like if you have a scarcity mindset then you may do things differently versus having a mindset of like everything is abundant love is abundant like everything's working out for me so i feel like you guys are being called to shift into this sort of abundant mindset for others of you i do see that money is going to be coming in for you i also just looked up and it's 11 11 so that's a good sign uh, but that's what i have for you guys so i truly hope that this reading was helpful if you want to book your own personal reading my information is down below in the description box all right, but I'm sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all of the best on your journeys. Take care.